Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Look what I have on. What does that mean? Uh, we have more smoke in Colorado? Well, actually, no. Uh, it means that we're uh, shooting some parts. So let's go take a look. And there you go. There's our forged carbon rear engine cover. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's got kind of a gold tint to it because of all of the bubbles <laughs> but I guess it's a feature not a bug anyway it, it looks okay it looks pretty good so we just want to show this car off like this and uh, eventually we're gonna paint it and then here's our roof so it's looking pretty good too it still has some areas that need attention but uh, I think the forged carbon front they're not pretty good too. So you can see that. Pretty good. And then we're gonna start shooting uh, these parts with primer. Just to, so the car has all one color for our little event uh, on the 25th through the 27th. So we've taken off some of the other panels. Um, we're getting those uh, as close as we possibly can uh, to flat. It's not gonna be perfect for this little uh, event that we're doing, but that's okay. Um, we just shoot it with some spray paint, get it as flat as possible. It's not going to look perfect, but you know, it'll at least be one color. The benefit of shooting it black is we'll be able to find out where all the, uh, dips and highs are and be able to get the panel nice and flat, uh, in preparation for, uh, covering it in carbon fiber. Um, so we saw the really nice stuff. Let's go take a look at uh, the hood. So here's the hood. Uh, I just shot it with some uh, spray paint. Um, you can see the, uh, you can see kind of some of the fiber sticking through in places. Uh, you can see where it's not flat, where we've got errors, but that's okay. Again, we're just trying to make it one color for our little event. This is not a permanent solution, nor should it be. <laughs> um, again, we'll flat this all off and we'll cover this one in uh, carbon fiber. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do this in the, um, uh, in the uh, uh, chopped carbon fiber look or forged carbon fiber, but uh, we'll see. Um, that was, you know, that decision's based on this guy right here, which, you know, on the surface and if you stand pretty far away, like about five feet, looks great. But when you come in, you can see there's little inclusions of bubbles, uh, some funky stuff going on. Uh, and I think that a lot of that may have to do with the way I laid it down, which was just hand laying it. I think if we're going to do the rocker panels down there, which I, uh, I'm going to try to do, I think what we'll do is we'll vacuum bag them. So we'll stick the chopped carbon fiber on, and then we'll put it in a vacuum bag to get it really nice and uh, uh, nice and flat. Because uh, I was chasing flatness on this thing. Uh, had to sand it like, I don't know, five or six times, which is just ridiculous. So anyway, we'll, <clears throat> we'll get those nice and flat. We'll put the uh, layer of epoxy on. Uh, we'll stick down the chopped strands, and then we'll put it in a vacuum bag. But this again is all after our little event uh, here in a couple of weeks. So that's pretty much uh, all we got. I'm just going to start cranking through these panels, um, getting them, you know, looking uh, flat ish, uh, and then uh, going ahead and shooting them uh, like I did the hood. So that way, you know, if you see the car from a distance, it's going to look pretty nice. But also remember, guys, we're putting on all of those carbon fiber parts as well. So um, those are going to add to it, and I think that they'll uh, draw more of the attention um, of the vehicle rather than uh, these other parts. So anyway, for those of you who can make it, I hope to see you there. Uh, for those of you who can't, we will uh, certainly do a video uh, so that you can see what we did during the event, uh, what the turnout was, and and uh, we'll show you some actual real supercars. Um, we actually are going to get the chance to drive, a, drive in a Huracan, uh, which we did on the Aspen event with Lamborghini. But this time we'll be on a, a dry 
uh, track. So uh, it should be interesting to see what we can do when it sticks to the <laughs> when it actually sticks to the road. Well, thanks again uh, for uh, watching. Um, pretty quick update. Just you know, banging through these panels. I still have some mechanicals to do so that the engine runs. Uh, I think if they'll let us, we might go out on the track and do some photo ops and, you know, kind of take a look at the car and try to <laughs> put it in its best light, um, but up against, you know, the Rocky Mountains and everything. So I think it'll look pretty cool. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, keep the comments coming. I love them. Um, I try to read every one. Uh, so if you've got some constructive uh, things to say, please put them down there. And we'll see you next time.